Imagine you're in a new role as a facility manager, property manager, or maintenance director. You walk into the fire sprinkler room and what do you see? A complex array of valves, gauges, and an air compressor connected to the piping. Today let's explore the fascinating world of dry sprinkler valves. Often people get confused and think that a dry valve involves a dry chemical similar to a fire extinguisher or a kitchen hood system. But this system is different. It has water at the bottom and compressed air at the top. The reason for this is simple, air doesn't freeze. That makes it the perfect solution for systems located in attics or outside canopies. Now let's take a closer look inside one of these valves to understand how it works. Water is still the extinguishing agent and it sits below this clapper. The air pressure on top holds the clapper down. When a fire sprinkler head activates, the air pressure is released. Once it reaches a certain point, the water pushes the clapper open and rushes in to extinguish the fire. What's great about this valve is its simplicity. When everything is back to normal, resetting it is as easy as pressing this plunger and restoring the air pressure. Some other valves may require you to open the faceplate like we've done today. In our next session, we'll delve deeper into the various trim valves and explore what they do. If you have any questions in the meantime, don't hesitate to reach out to us. Headcount is here to transform facility maintenance, helping you manage asset inventory, compliance inspections, and work orders seamlessly in one system. Check us out. And until next time, stay safe.